Well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero. Brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullsh. Hello, it's Lassen 347. For another bonus video, I'm going to Well, yeah. <laughs> That's not all these bonus videos, but I really wanted to explain as much as possible about this game. But, I just got my first rare card. I decided to do this fight off screen because, well, it's just boring showing it over and over again. But anyway, it's the card I wanted. It's for later on. And for those, that seems nice. And why like that? That is a wear card. You can tell because of the yellow border. But you gave a Mithrid. Now, you usually you get this. You notice like this kid in the blue shirt running around and stuff. But after the exams, there's one time only he actually stays stationary by talking to his big brother. So, per uh, yeah. Pretty awesome if I do so soon myself. <laughs> yeah, I am uh, pretty chuffed <laughs> about that. So um, yeah, off screen I uh, did a lot of card, ma got a lot of cards and stuff. Oh yeah, lots of cards, lots and lots and lots of them. Yeah, big and regular of a card too. And I even got this card before actually for the boss. It was ages ago. Like I was just after explaining the first time the card rules. But there we go, there's Minima. Took these like a summon card, so it's pretty sweet. And unfortunately, if you're doing the uh, the card queen side quest, you're gonna need to give that card up. But don't worry, you can get it back later. Uh, fucking card queen side quest. But uh, anywho. <laughs> I've seen quite a lot today. So, I mean, why is it. Ooh, Cypher? Hmm. Okay then. So yeah, make sure that you talk to this before going all the way to that hallway, that other kid. Hmm. Don't worry though, he isn't missable or anything. There are no missable cards per se in this game. Any cards you do sacrifice to the card you can actually get back later. So, but, uh, yeah, but still, I hate that part that you have to sacrifice your wear cards just to have to move somewhere else. It's so needlessly frustrating. It's why I can see one of the worst side quests in all of Final Fantasy for that reason. She's so anal. <laughs> yeah, but, um, anywho. 
I'll go into about that later. For now, let's go to the second floor. <laughs> and so I make this a bit longer today because of things I wanted to talk about. But yeah, rare cards are the ones that are um, the goal lines. You can get them from, only from certain players. There's actually not quite a few now after the event of going for Dildit. So I'm not going to show off every single rare card we get. I'm just going to show you an example of where some of them are and the different types. Because you don't just get GF cards, you get cards that are actually pictures of players in them too. So I actually want to show that one off when I eventually do that. So this is going to be quite a long video today. I'm going to do quite a bit of editing too. <laughs> to see which parts I think are important and uh, um, which are not. Well, here they are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, these guys don't actually talk. Uh, I have to wait until something happens in the end. I mean, it's quite frustrating. If this takes too long, I can just skip ahead. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, now here's the thing. Talk to the principal again. And he'll give you something. Oh, scroll, let me give you this. It's a barometer. Access the menu and you'll see a bad report in the information section tutorial. Make him an ending for future battles. There we go. Let's have a look at this so called battle meter. In tutorials or something? So called battle meter. I thought it was right here. No, that's not it. No. Hmm. Uh, 
Yep, that's true. Yeah, quite a few Jeffs in the game. Ah, like just like before with the um, just like before they got the uh, maniac. I forgot how to access it. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, as for the maniac thing, you the the timber maniac spaces like an article. You just need to go to your desk in um, the classroom. You know that panel at the very beginning of the game which I showed you? It's in somewhere there you can actually read it. They're just articles, but you know. That's what I tell you that. Here's the conduits. These are the results you get during the test. So, but uh, yeah, the basically it's based on. Um, oh yeah, that's because I do with um, getting there in time doing conduit. That's because I took so long with the fight. But yeah, if you, I showed it to the guides, but I still did really well. See the rank nine. That's actually not bad per se. <laughs> so it's actually uh, pretty sweet. Oh yes, this is what I would talk about actually. Um, now you have access to uh, tests. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Anywho. So now that we have this there, I think something else becomes available to us now if we go to the tutorials. Uh, there we go, test. You can say you're in test to raise your seed rank. It's strictly just a thing of yes or no questions. That's literally all it is. And if you get it correct, you keep doing it up and up again and basically increase your seed rank. And so often you should see something at the bottom, bottom of the screen telling you that you still got a salary or something. It's kind of random when it appears, but. The higher you see, the more salary you get. That's why you don't actually get any money when you do fight, when you win battles and stuff, because you get it automatically because you technically have a job. So it's quite interesting. Just go to Game Facts and look at answers there. It's really basic and simple. I'm not even going to go into it. It's just just a bunch of answers and questions. It's it's that simple. It's just that easy. <laughs> anyway, let's get changed. I think it's the only time the image is actually at the C score wearing this, <laughs> along with his other uh, uniform as well.
Hey guys, let's go. <laughs> but to be fair, I can't dance either, <laughs> so I feel your pain. Last order. Huh. Last order. Odd. <laughs> Mugated? Then let's get changed. Uh, that's the save as well. But yeah, I saved this up a save file in case if I couldn't beat that robot or something or whatever. If my strategy wasn't going to work and it just went away and stuff. It wasn't essential. But I wanted to show you that it was possible. Also, I never actually beat that work before. So I was kind of curious to see if I can actually do it with the stats I had. So. I was pretty cut happy with myself that I actually did manage to do it. Hmm. 
But this is actually do it another explanation. Yes, <laughs> and this is why I'm here to uh, try and uh, make it simple for you guys. And you know, also just yeah, you, know, you can't go to any other places because all oh, those guys are blocking it off. So basically, actually go through the training area. So you can't really get lost, to be honest. Not really. So it's right here. That leads to the library. And here is status junctions. And we are going to be skipping this. And I'm going to explain myself. Yep, and that's exactly what you're going to do. So, in case you're wondering, so, however, though, if you didn't get the siren, if you didn't get the siren, the siren GF, I don't think you can actually do this. I actually don't think so. Not until um, you got an energy of the loan um, status up. So let's go to Simon like so. Whatever. Oh yeah, that pretty much does it automatically. Uh, and stuff if you want to. Oops. Uh, I'm okay for that for the time being. Need that water. This is by element. Which you can use to help her do that. I don't really need any enemies for the time being though. That was just for that particular fight. And here is a sleep. Any sooner. Not bad. I mean, we don't need anything that just protects that effects. But I did make over 100 sleeps though. So, let's see. Who did I give that to? Uh, let's see. Sleep. Sleep. There we go. Bingo. And you go to junction now with scroll. Like so. There we go. 100% chance. My physical attack will always put an enemy to sleep. Pretty sweet actually. You do the same with the side effects too. And also status defense. So uh, again, pretty awesome. Pretty useful to help you out in the pinch. Yeah, um, I actually came across the T-Rex twice by complete accident in the forest. It's a rare encounter and I came across it like twice in a row, so I'm like super unlucky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, let's see, uh, GFs, uh, almost a junction, blah 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 blah. Uh, let's see, GF, uh, yep, get rid of you, that one. Okay, uh, selfie, GF. Always like unequipped stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Always on the crit the, and GFs and the characters that aren't in the party and give them to the others. That way everyone gets as much experience as possible. So that's actually quite important to do that. And then much magic again. So this is where it kind of gets annoying, or the micromanaging. So in this case, I need to uh, exchange some more waters and stuff. There we go. Yeah, just give all and stuff. Uh, and it gets it really time consuming doing this over and over again. If I remember, eventually we have to do this when we get our full party. But for stars, it does get it. It does get pretty tiring doing this over and over again. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I, also, I just got all my GFs here so that way all of them can at least try to uh, get the AP and stuff, not only some of them. So that's why I'm having all of them here equipped. But yeah, stats, so basically that's what the junction is. Um, the junction status effects allows you to inflict side effects on enemies with physical attacks, or you could defend against them with certain status effects and attacks. So it's pretty much like your elements. But again, just like with the elemental one, you need the, the GFDs then junction status attack and defense first. So that way when you junction it, then we can do it straight away from there. But that's how that works. Pretty cool. 
And uh, also, uh, I'm going to talk about all about abilities. These. These let you make items and magic much, much quicker. Very quick. I could actually show you. With water instance, I've got the fish fins from uh, finding those other enemies. I'm going to find one to 20 waters per se. So let's do this now, just an example. And there we go, we've got 20 waters. And you can do the same for fire and stuff, depending if there's a certain item, which I don't. The magic stones, you can use these magic, if you've got the magic stones, you can turn this into like basic fire and water, uh, fire, uh, thunder and blizzard. I will use them more during um, the optional fight I had. But card mod is where it's at. Card mod is amazing. Basically, you can turn all the cards into either it turn into um, items. Oh yeah, this is where you can put most of your annoying grinding to a halt. It is absolutely amazing. It's it's just the it's just the best. So I'm gonna show you examples. Five screws. Okay, why not? We actually might need that for later. You can find one just to an M stone, for instance. Oh, into a black hole. We can get a few. We can do this to actually learn a few um, blue magics for Christie's. So let's do that, shall we? Well, we got the spider's web. Uh, let's see. And I'm just going to use it on the ones that have duplicates and stuff. Hmm. Vampire fang? Yeah. Alright. Curse spike. Cool. Arctic wing, all right. Uh, cactus fawn, if you want to and stuff. You can turn it on giant star fragment. So uh, yeah, that's how you can get the materials and stuff to help you out with um, other stuff. See, I can only generate it now. Yoink. Aqua breath. Therefore, death. And contains ice elemental. In this case, I might be able now to uh, show off the, um, the mod ability. I say. So therefore, could I? Oh yes, I can. To learn to trinity desires. So yeah, this is why card mod is absolutely awesome, and why you want to collect cards. You could seriously cut down and so much grinding with these abilities and with playing cards. It's essential. If you're not playing cards, five to eight, you're seriously missing out. And the grinding you have to do would be like, well, it's just ridiculous of how much grinding you have to do without it. It's it's just that useful, guys. It's it's so much awesome. <laughs> but, um, anywho, enough procrastinating. Let's just keep going. That's all I want to learn cardboard so badly in Cinder Refines. But, yeah, there are random encounters here. You can actually learn a few new um, spells here if you want. I feel like I'm here earlier in the game if I wanted to. But remember, you might encounter the T Rex. And he uh, he he sucks <laughs> without being properly prepared. Really annoying to fight because well, you just, um, you do get a useful item from there which you can use to help with your weapons. So there's that too. Nope, they struck first. So yep, you can draw the uh, signs if you want to these guys now if you want to. I need to do that, but you can if you want. See? Notice that amount of the steep, guys, because now uh, I have that uh, status there. And you're probably wondering, is there an instant death spell? Yes, there is. And you're also probably thinking, wait, can I uh, put in can I put the death spell effect effect so that monsters literally die in one hit? Yes, you can. You can actually do that if you want to. With your status. Of course, it's working on all enemies, but still, it's pretty useful. <laughs> I already have sleeps earlier, but you can be doing grind for sciences if you want. That I'm going to do off screen. I don't need to. Hmm, draw point. Why not? Lizard. Yeah. Eh.
I do go watch the T Rex there, maybe you should have seen that, see guys, so you get a new ID. That's the T Rex! Holy crap! I'm actually fanning. But yeah, this guy is pretty tough. He's quite a bit of damage if he wants to. So, you need to be careful. This is where status effects come in. Now he's asleep. Ah, I know, I should have bought the blind actually. Yeah, that would actually be useful. And you could just spam GF and stuff if you want to. Uh, actually, this is how we scan him. How much health do you have? He probably has quite a bit. But yeah, this is why um, side effects are important. Otherwise, this fight is going to be frustrating and boring and uh, just annoying. Let's see, how much health do you have? Yep, 13,000. But yep, yeah, he's weak against ice again as well if you want to. And strong against earth. I'm actually gonna wood away and stuff, and I'm kinda of the fight is kind of 13,000. But if you're trying to get that t monster T bone stuff, then go right ahead. So which is I'm running away. You can't bother with that to escape. But uh, yeah, 13,000, that's gonna take forever. Not worth it. But yeah, sleep is the best way of dealing with him if you count him. He has 13,000 this time, and so unless if you've really been breaking the game, you're in like a ton of health like super quickly, uh, then I mean, gain like a ton of stat boost real fast and all that, then by all means, you can beat up the T Rex if you want to. You get 10 AP, so that's, that's quite a bit at this point in the game, so you can do that. But I just want to show you guys how the style effects works specifically. Actually, I think it's best I transfer some of my magic. You can also blind him if you want, if you got those blinds from that draw point. So you can't even use physical attacks, making them completely useless. I haven't been here for a while. I <laughs> did
But uh, yeah, that was awkward. <laughs> Let's head back. <laughs> oh, come on. But uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, he's back attacks. Shoot. Again, I don't want to level up too often and stuff because then when I level up, so the enemy they get stronger. So I'm trying to do it too often. Huh? Somebody help! I'm on squirrel. Oh, what was that? Yep, it's boss time. But uh, since it's in the same video anyway, I think I might just show off the boss anyway as well. But uh, this guy is a piece of cake. What he likes to do is he likes to carry off those enemies there and actually um, use them to hit you with. But you can actually get some protects and also I think some shell from him. Yes, he can. Oh, this is what he does. Yep, he uses that and pretty much rolls it towards you. Now, that wasn't very nice. Let's actually try our new summon, Siren. But, uh, yeah, um... So you can draw protect and shelf these guys if you want to. I'm not going to, but you can if you want, it's it's your choice. But once you get rid of these uh enemies here, this guy is nothing. It does it quite often actually. These guys don't even have much of health. I don't even gonna bother showing any of the uh <laughs> I don't even gonna bother scanning. In this case. Yeah, I get used to be saying this isn't a very hard boss, because I'm not going to lie, the bosses in this game aren't that tough in general. If you know what to do and stuff, it's, it's very easy. Kind of sad, really. Oh, here's the thing though, um, with Siren, there's a chance that when she does that, you can actually silence some enemies, so yeah. Although I think this should finish it. He's getting rid of these guys. Make sure I don't like using my GF too often because they take a lot of time to be scared. Let me check in here. I'll show some time to time when you're doing the boss fights, at least one to see what they look like for those who haven't seen before. There we go. Bye. Take care of those guys. Oh no, 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 Oh, but he's asleep. See? You can actually move sleep if you want to. And I guess you could do that if you want to keep drawing some magic from him. That's if you want to. I'm not going to bother doing that, but you can if you want. Because my skills have 100 sleep, there's 100% chance that it will work. And this enemy's like that way immune to it or something. There we go, bye. It's <laughs> a pretty easy boss fight. Ooh, some wizard stones.
No, trust me. You know who she is, I just want the story. <sighs> but, um, anywho. There is a secret creation, basically, in how um, style effects work. But after a certain point, we now get a lot more. F we start to actually get a bit more freedom, per se, at a certain point. So, let's uh, get out of here. Yep. <laughs> okay then, so the other guys we can actually do now, so just go back to our dormitory and stuff. I think I, have, I think I want just to use for a boss fight, just showing you how size effects work in general and stuff. Uh, they mean that they might be useful when it comes to helping with drawing some magic. If you put an enemy to sleep, they won't do much of anything. Finally, there you are. Right there. <laughs> okay, now we've got a new room, so I guess we're seed now, it's, it's official and stuff. But yeah, I started showcasing events because a few um, good items you can get here and stuff. So. Try to go to sleep. There's actually the item right here as well. You might notice that at the end of the boss fight, a few fights ago, Bigs and Reds and that giant flying thing, we got a magazine. But that first magazine is complete rubbish. It, it's ridiculous. Okay. So that magazine is completely useless. This next magazine actually isn't. Yeah, I need to talk about magazines actually. Um, yeah, basically these weapon monthly magazines, uh, just sort, there we go. Uh, basically what these do, they just tell you about the weapons and stuff you can make. So, yeah, these, uh, yeah, this is the basic weapon, as in the revolver, as in the weapons we already have. Which kind of makes it stupid to put this in the first place, because if we already have this weapon, why on earth would you want us to make it again? It, it, it's 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 mind boggling. I don't know why you want to go back to that weapon. I suppose here's a month for two. Actually, tells us some new weapons and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's pretty useful for those who are a bit curious about these. <laughs> kind of spoiled it actually. It gave us two weapons for characters we haven't in our party yet. <laughs> but, um, but anywho, uh, this is what I'd tell you guys about this. You actually don't need these magazines to get the weapons. As long as you have the ingredients, that's all you need. You just need the ingredients. The same goes for other magazines as well. Except for one, which I will tell about um, later on. Not in this video though, because we aren't that far with that. And that just take too long to go that far ahead. But anywho, there's one other good thing I actually want to talk to about. I talk to you guys about right here. Yeah, actually, can I make the steel pipe? Uh, just want to check. Oh wow, well, I can. Oh, that's stored. <laughs> I can make a steel pipe wipe down if I wanted to. Hmm. Eh, why the heck not? If I can, I might as well. And although that's a pretty powerful card, I can get that back. It's not that ultra rare or anything. So it's all good. So yeah, even if you um, don't uh, use, even if um, you use up the card, it still is in your collection. It just grayed out because you already used it. But there we go, that's a steel pipe. Actually, in that case, then I guess I can show two things. 
about upgrading weapons and stuff. I will be upgrading weapons and all that. Although I warn you that you get even more overpowered through these weapons. <laughs> uh, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Anywho, let's go back to the front gate then, and uh, well, first official mission now. But as you notice during the cards, um, the more further you go down the list, the more stronger they get. And the very last cards are usually like the wear cards or the ones with the players or the or the player cards and stuff. And that's what self it looks like normally with a uh, uniform. Next. <laughs> 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 This is kind of cool. I mean, you see with the guy, you see the people playing this game, a freaking T-board, like a hoverboard of things. And that's how you see it like the entire game. Uh, <laughs> it's cool than usual. We had hoverboards. Freaking hoverboards taken away from this game. How could you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, but the hour is still bound. Make sure you say that. That's part of the password. That's the way it goes for much later though. Again, it's mostly a boss win, so I'm only gonna really um go between the story and stuff. Uh just basically for um if there's something like a really important item or maybe um if one do like it's explanation or tutorial or whatever. But for the most part I've always done a tutorial in this game. Oh, so we're all in charge now. Cool. And one more thing. Talk to the principal. Talk to him. Oh, and score. Well, I forgot to give you this. It's a cursed item. But if one with enough power use it, it should be a great help. The magical lamp. Talk to this guy. Without it, you already get Diablo for a long time. Or well, maybe not even that at all. So make sure you talk to him. And this guy, if you want to remind you, talk about the password. But uh, yeah. Talk to him. Do not exit until you talk to him. The yeah. yeah, I'm gonna spoil for you guys. If you activate the lamp before saving, you go into a boss fight. I am not doing it this time. I'm gonna do two boss fights in a row. I'm gonna do it in the next part, as this is absolutely clearly optional. But get that magical lamp. I cannot stress it enough. The GF inside has some amazing stuff to have. They have some really good abilities for you to learn. Really good, and I, d I just had to talk about it and make sure you guys got this because it's it's just awesome. But um, <laughs> okay then, I think we can do a few, one or two things before we end this. So I'm gonna meet you guys back in Belém. See you guys then. Off screen, I'm also gonna off. Oh, okay, yeah. Off screen, I'm also going to um, equip magic again to Zell and Self, I suppose. So I gotta see you guys properly then. <laughs> and I am back. Now I'm going to show you guys some other stuff too. Basically, um, the store only makes weapons and stuff. So if you have the right materials, then you can make new weapons and stuff. In this case, because I got a steel pipe, I can use my attack power like so. And there we are. And let's see, Vazel. Could I... let's see. Uh, dragon fin and spider web. Actually, I think I could actually make that. Again, this is why... Card mod is so awesome. Okay, let's see. I think I saw the home of the dragon fin actually. Uh, let's see. Gwendol? Okay then. There you go then. Let's do it. Well, 
Why not? I'm not sure in this case I get a new attack, but sometimes you do, it depends. Oh, there we go, yep. Yeah. When you get a certain weapon, you get a new ability. That is how you get new um, limit breaks for the scroll. So now I, get, I have a chance of acting Fated Circle, not just Bluff Divide. And that hits all enemies. So, uh, yeah. Pretty sweet. I'm going to do the Card Queen Cycles off screen. But basically, this goes to the Card Queen. You need to sacrifice the Mog card uh, and actually lose a game. Oh, uh, it's so, um, it's just, it's it's so frustrating to do this card queen zygrest, it's ridiculous. But the thing is, you get some nice cards out of it, which can use to help you with fusion, but it's in itself just a giant pain in the ass. One of the worst zygrests, I, I say, in general. But over there, if you go in here, it says actually, a uh, Ma, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make yourself comfortable, but yep, yeah, this is Zell's mom. And if and uh, you can only do this, you can only um, you can just about the scene. But you could challenge. I don't think you could chat. You could challenge her and stuff, but um, at the time you could, you couldn't get the wear card. But uh, you can actually do it now if you challenge her. The wear card in this case is actually a picture of Zell. Yeah. So if you just um, press square and challenge her, you look, you do it over and over again until you get the card you want. But it's no biggie because again, you can just um, just as easily uh, get uh, <laughs> you can just just as easily um, get it back if you do somehow lose, or plus you get some other cards as well. I mean, the more cards, the better. That's more stuff for you to like fuse and stuff and make. So it's really no um, deal whatsoever. It's just going to be careful if it's like a really rare card or something. Most likely the, the GF cards. These ones you probably don't want to uh, use up. But uh, that's actually what I'm going to do off screen though. I'm going to get some player cards from certain characters. I put a link in the description of which players have certain cards. Well, I just want to show off the, to, at that mark card you could have gotten. But uh, yep, that's it though for the time being. I'm sorry this video being a bit long winded, but I really wanted to discuss certain parts and certain items you can easily miss, especially, especially that magical lamp. Oh, it's so important to get that magical lamp. So off soon, just going to uh, play a lot more card games and stuff, and uh, whatever. And then I'm going to fight against the of boss. Yes, it says say before using it when you go to the item. So next time we're going to be fighting an optional GF. But with that, it is Master of 347. Thanks for the RG platform. Stay classy.